Hi, I'm Matthew McCullough with GitHub, and I'd like to take the opportunity today for those of you who are new to version control to describe at an abstract level what it does and how it relates to your job as a knowledge worker. I want to begin by describing at a very high level the standard tasks and steps that a knowledge worker might go through in creating some content. This could be a designer, person who works with documents, or as is most frequently the case in the realm that Git is talked about, a developer or someone who writes code. All of those roles have the common behavior in place that we create things, author new files, write the content, we save them. We then subsequently make some edits or changes to those files, corrections, additions, requested modifications, and then we save them again. This seems like a simple set of steps, but how would you graphically represent that? That saving the thing again and again is the goal and where version control helps, providing you clarity as to when you did it, why you did it, and what the contents of the change were. Open for review at any time in the future. If we drew a picture, of the activities of you working on one of those files that we just described, you might, for each of the points in time, describe what you did to the file, why you changed it, and then you'd like the tool itself to record what the contents of that change were. From one word to another, a spelling correction, the change of a color or a background, or adding a company logo to the top of a web page or even a Word document. For a single individual, this doesn't seem too hard, and for a single file, it seems relatively straightforward. Many individual products are putting this into the product themselves, this idea of keeping a history. What would this look like in terms of a graphical client that sits atop of Git? Here's GitHub for Mac, at which point I can look at any entry that I've done in the past, I can see the before and after of the change, and I can go into the details of that with the description in context and make sense of why did I make this modification. For a single individual, I repeat, this is again rather straightforward and rather simple. But where Git really shines is when we start talking about this in a collaborative sense. You and other team members trying to do the same thing. Even worse, on the same files. When you do that, you need something much more capable than a simple revision history of a single file for a single person. You need the idea of keeping track of who changed it, when they changed it, why they changed it, but the capability of the tool to unify these back together in what is typically referred to as a merge. These actions, these interleavings of you and the team members working on the same, similar, or adjacent files is handled adeptly by a full-fledged version control system like that of Git. This idea of bringing these changes together is shown here in the same graphical user interface. Tim making modifications, in some cases literally at the same time that I'm making them, but the tool handling it with precision and relative ease. Simply show who changed what when, and if there needs to be a unification of the two, bring up a concept that we call merge and help me bring the two sets of changes, mine and Tim's, back into a unified and resolved good and final state. Let's recap what Git brings to the table and why it's a good implementation of a version control system. It's very lightweight. It's one of the newest implementations out there, even though it's had a full seven years to mature, and it's extremely fast which is important to users because the tool just gets out of the way. It provides you that history, which we said some individual tools, document editing and so on, might provide on an individual basis, but Git can give you the history of all of the files that compose a project. Graphics, designs, documents, and in many cases even some form of programming code. Next. Git facilitates this not for just one person making modifications to changes, but actually bringing them together, facilitating collaboration 
people simultaneously changing the same or adjacent files and bringing them together for a unified effect, making sense of this we're all working at the same time kind of idea. Lastly, Git is approachable for any type of knowledge worker. This is not focused just on programmers, but equally serves designers and document authors. The graphical user interfaces provide a very pleasant experience with this version control system, a visual way of reviewing the history, and a simple double click and right click for navigation and changes through those versioned elements. I hope you give Git a try and appreciate that you've given me a few minutes to talk about what this might bring to your job as a knowledge worker.